Hi guys, welcome back to The Cook's Pantry. What I'm gonna share with you now is a recipe that I actually picked up from one of our very valued employees, Mr. Eddie, in the kitchen. He's South Korean, and these are Korean-style braised beef ribs. You are going to love it. Okay, so how this works is we're, we're essentially making like a, a Korean master stock, okay? We're gonna braise them in the pot, so we're gonna get as much flavor into this stock as we possibly can. We've got two liters of chicken stock, so I like to go with a, a lighter style stock, just so all of the flavors, like the, the ginger, the garlic, the soy, that all really starts to come through, all right? So we're gonna get two liters of the stock in there. All right. Now, these guys use a lot, <laughs> a lot of garlic, okay? So there's 12 cloves of garlic that have just been grated up. Big indicators of, of the Korean style of food. Heavy on the garlic. I've got a, an awesome ingredient here, gochujang, which is like a, a Korean red chili paste, uh, which has got, it's quite salty, it's very rich. It's got like a, a back end of warmth to it. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So I've gone in with a, about a three inch piece of ginger, microplaned. 12 cloves of garlic, a couple of shallots, really finely sliced up. Got a few tablespoons of brown sugar, good hit of sesame oil. Now, the gochujang. Have a look at that. It kind, it, or, kind of looks like tomato paste, but it's got this slight funk to it uh, and a nice, nice little bit of heat. But we're only gonna go in just a couple of tablespoons of that. Not a spicy dish, but what the gochu does is, is it sort of gives it a lot of backbone. So after we've braised the ribs, um, we've infused the stock, braised them down, we'll reduce the, the stock that's left over uh, like any good gravy and that will go over the top of the ribs. Okay, a couple of hundred mils of soy. And this here is a nashi pear. Okay, they use this stuff all the time. Uh, they, they like to use a lot of fruit in their marinades, in their sauces, in their dressings. So what I'm gonna do, that's gonna go in towards the end. Uh, I'm just gonna grate that up and I'll finish that through the glaze that we'll put over the top of the short ribs. So now all I need to do, wait, lid that, bring it up to a boil, get those flavors infusing. We'll lower in the short ribs and they're gonna tick away for probably three and a half to four hours. That's my guess, okay? So we get them really beautiful, soft and gelatinous. We'll reduce that sauce and what we can even do just hit them with the sauce, so a nice thick glaze over the top, and then just finish it in the oven to get that lovely caramelization that we all love on our ribs. Okay, so to recap this with you guys, like we were saying, braising, and they were pretty much spot on three and a half hours. So we just, we take them out onto a, a roasting tray here. We took some of the master stock into our pan and we've just been reducing that down. You can always hit it with a, a little bit more brown sugar, just a little bit to get that, that caramelization, that, that glaze happening, which is about where we're sitting now. And you can tell when the bubbles start to become really sort of uh, constant and, and quite small. So to finish this off, the oven is set at 220, so we're up really nice and high. And we're just gonna dress the short rib with this glaze. Give it a nice even coating. You can do this a couple of times if you want. So just like basting really, give it a nice generous layer. We've got baking paper on the base of this. When you work it in, it's got a lot, of, a lot of sugar in there. It's gonna caramelize. You don't want to have to try and scrub off toffee off the base. All right, so I'm gonna bang them in the oven. Give them five to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them, because that sugar in the glaze, uh, the soy as well, that's gonna start to create some serious color. And uh, once we're there, we'll check on them, maybe give them another little hit, and we're good to go. All right. Just under 10 minutes in there, just for that final little blast, and that is exactly where we want to be. Presentation-wise, if you would like, you can... That's when you know that you're on the money. All right, so what you do, just go on that little extra extra mile for your guests, popping those bones out. One. Oof. Last little hit the rest of this glaze. Just gonna bang that all over the top of those short ribs. Final touches. We just got some coriander and some spring onion here. Throw that over the top. 
and then just some toasted sesame seeds. Have a go at that. Epic, absolutely epic. A little bit of steamed rice, maybe some steamed veg, wok tossed veg, anything like that. But have a go at that. Could you imagine if you put that down in front of your mates? Have them over on the weekend, get a little braise happening Sunday afternoon. Pop the bones out, presentation wise, you've gone that extra mile, it's there to just rip to pieces. You're welcome. <laughs>